Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by today's title I have my May favourites. Now I do not normally do favourites month to month however I have managed to get quite a few favourites. So I decided I would do a May favourites because one I have the time and two I have a bunch of favourites. So um, I'm not going to lie it's pretty much the majority makeup so I may as well just or makeup based kind of so I'm just going to start with the non makeup item which is a pair of sunglasses and I mean like they were not going to be my main favourite one I'm so happy that the sun is finally out so I can wear these but they are by Key Australia and they are called the My Girl and I know everyone that has a pair of these wants to call them Quay Australia because it just reads Quay. It's Q U A Y, Quay. But why do we pronounce that word as key? Because it doesn't say key, it says Quay. You know when you wonder like who makes up words? It says it's, it's Quay. But it's key, but yeah. Um, and like I said, they are the My Girl sunglasses. I may or may not have ordered another pair. Anyway, um, my next favourite, I'll stick to getting close to the makeup area, is a face mask. And I really wish I would have took before pictures because I actually think that this face mask works. It's obviously by Clearasil and it is the Ultra Blemish and Marks Wash and Mask. But it looks like this. It helps to clear blemishes fast and fight the appearance of marks. Um, again, it just says what it does on the tub. I just, not that I feel comfortable with that makeup, but I could now prance. No, I couldn't prance around with no makeup. I just, I, I would, I'd go out with no makeup on, maybe. Maybe. That's like a huge maybe. But I do really like this and I really do think it's helped my scars fade. I did get requested to do a skincare routine. I don't really have a skincare routine. It is the most simple thing ever. So let me know in the down below if you do want me to upload a skincare routine. I mean I will. But if you have, you know, problematic skin or anything like that, it won't be a video for you, it's for people that have normal skin, just normal skin. <laughs> so yeah, if you want me to film something I will, but honestly, it's pretty But yes, yeah, so I've had this mask, I want to say, three weeks, and I use it pretty much every night, and I literally just put it on my scars, and I really feel like they've cleared. I sent my auntie a picture because she knows that I look like no makeup on, and she agrees. So she's actually gone out and bought it herself for her scars. So if you have any scars, you want this. Um, obviously you guys know I also do use bio oil on my face. So again, it could be in conjunction with that. But I did try it for its, by itself without the bio oil for a while. I just had to go back using bio oil because my nose was just peeling up like it's nobody's business. Because my nose is just really dry and I don't know why. Anyways, that was a very big ramble. Um, I'll go to the next thing, which is just a sucky. I have a ton of brushes. So, I got a brush set off of eBay. Um, I'm, not, I'm not even sure if this is all of them. I don't know. So, my favourite ones out of the set are... these ones so obviously this is a foundation brush but I use it for my concealer you have a domed brush you just have a nice flat brush this for the set it was four pounds something I will leave the link for the set down in the down bar I would have paid four pounds something for this brush alone why no other company has made a brush like this I do not know and then there's like this this big flat one for like getting under there and then this really nice cute one those are my favourites out of the set and then these are just like some other random ones that are in the set and then there's like some other ones that you got but no wrong one 
back to this brush this is just amazing so hopefully you can see it is like angled but it's like curved this let me zoom up in here ignore my eyebrows i'm gonna wax them tonight um but it just gets in here so well like look at that like this just makes adding a crease color and blending so simple like look at this it's just amazing it just fits right in the eye socket why has no one done this before like look this is just pure genius so yeah i love these brushes obviously i did get them off ebay like i said and they're so soft yeah i will leave the link in the down bar get them yep and yeah they're just all black nice and sleek there's no name just a random brush set i just needed some eye i just needed some more eye brushes so i thought i'm gonna try out some cheap ones first i'm thankful that i did so thankful that i did um in march i did some makeup for one of my boss's clients so obviously i just took this, my brushes that i use on myself i actually left this brush at hers and i actually didn't think i missed it until I got it back and it is the Sigma E25 blending brush it's my baby I just love it and I'm glad I have it back another brush is the Real Techniques domed shadow brush again I just love this eyeshadow brush it's just like another brush again this is good this is just another ebay random brush and just a big round fluffy domed brush and this is really good just for adding like your skin color into your crease and like just for like tidying up at the end when you just want to blend everything together again super soft if i can find the link for these ones i'll leave that in the down bar too and then the well there is another brush but that's kind of like another one but this is linked with a product so i have gone back to falling in love with my max studio fix powder and i use it with the real techniques powder brush and you know i really feel like before you ever go out and buy makeup you should really look at the makeup you already own because you know how i was like oh, i need a powder for my face and I went out and bought one. Why did I do that? Because I had this. So I am in NC45 and obviously like I've used a ton. But yeah, I like it. I don't know why I don't look at what I already own when I feel like I need something. <sighs> Cause you know, you never have enough makeup. Clearly, clearly, clearly. Okay shall we stick to like no we're on makeup but anyways eyes the only eyeshadow palette that i've been using for about a month it's been a month three weeks month the jacqueline hill morphe palette omg i absolutely love this the sad thing is it was limited edition so you can't get it now what i can tell you is that oh if you can just order a morphe palette any maybe like the brown ones because ugh, i have literally this eye look that i'm wearing today is all i've been wearing just on repeat um so i used these three and yeah yeah i just they have this nice they're just the nicest eyeshadows ever i really want to get one of their blush palettes and you know maybe another one of my eyeshadow palettes because I just I just I love it and I did stick her picture from the box on Twitch because you know why would you not want Jaclyn Hill on your eyeshadow palette love it the next favourite I was actually reminded about from another YouTuber and it is the Sully Tam de Chanel again you just always resume, you know. You should go out and get another bronzer. 
no um i just forgot how much i like this it's just such a nice bronzer just for simply warming up your face and having it just look natural and not you know too warm or too or like the thing i struggle with is some bronzers just make me look orange um this powder that i got not so long ago from gosh it's just oh it's broken Um, like, I don't know if it'll come off on camera. Like, it doesn't look this warm, like that warm in person. But I put it on my face and it's orange. So, like, again, I've used like tons of this, but it's just so natural that you just can't look orange. I just hate looking orange or too warm. Like, I'd say I am olive toned. Like, yes, I haven't. A yellow undertone but I'm not that warm I don't know but the Chanel Soleil de Tan Chanel blah, 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 Bronze Universal it's good and so worth the money um I don't have mentioned this before it's by Maybelline it's the big eyes but I love the cream side which is just a nude pencil. I have it in my tight line today. No, 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 tight line's the top. In my waterline, and I also use it for highlighting under my brows. It's just, you know, you can just use it everywhere. I mean, if you want, you could probably use it as a lipstick. No, that'd be like concealer. Um, but yeah, really, really nice for your waterline and just for highlighting under your brows. It's good and I like it. It's a really, really, really nice shade. Another favourite that I've gone back to, this is not the actual container for it, but it is the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer and I just squeezed it into this tub because I was going back to MAC and I needed an extra thing, so I just squeezed out all my concealer. Um, you know, I don't even know what shade this is, but I really, really, really like it. Um, yeah, I just went back to using it just because I needed a concealer for my face, obviously. <laughs> and yeah, I like that when I picked a winner. So I had really dry lips and I just picked up some Vaseline. Again, I forgot I had it and I put it on my lips at bedtime. It's almost like an overnight, na overnight lip treatment. I really, really, really like it. I have the one with cocoa butter. Yeah. And it's just so, it's just so nice. Um, and you know, when you have braces, sometimes you just get chapped lips for no reason. No reason at all. They just, you know, they just decide they want to be chapped. If we stick to lips, do you know, I have realised I'm so bipolar. Because I'm pretty sure in my last video I was like, I'm all about the dark lips. The brown lip life. such a walking hypocrite I, <laughs> but I've fallen back in love with my Kiko 901 lipstick I've mentioned this a million times it is just a really nice nude but it's not like really dark and it's just glossy and nice I mean I'm not totally straight away from the brown lip because I have used my faithful um, Avon Simply Spice lip liner but brown nude um and the last two things are both by smashbox and you should know that this is going to be my favorites my new foundation my new love my holy grail the smashbox she your skin foundation oh. like i can tell you i am not a confident person whatsoever believe it or not considering i make youtube videos and since since dropping my foundation, <laughs> since getting this foundation, I said to my friend not too long ago, you know, it probably does help that I have lost weight, but I said to my friend, I was like, I think I like my face. What I actually meant was, I like my makeup. <laughs> but I hate taking my makeup off lately, just because I feel like it looks really good. I mean, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but in person, when I look in my mirror, I'm like, And 
and I just I love it let me know in the down bar if any of you bought this because of my video because if you have you're welcome and then the next thing which again makes me like my face <laughs> is the Smashbox contour kit oh which looks like this I wasn't gonna buy this I wasn't gonna be one of those people that jumped on the contour kit bandwagon oh and I love the foundation the lady was saying to me like oh you should get it like the highlight shade in it will just complement skin tone so well and the contour shade will be perfect she wasn't lying I mean it totally does the highlighter shade I just used with this angled brush which I got from eBay with the other dome brush that I told you about and then I just contour using the brush that comes with it this is such a good brush I will say I do put it on with this but it's not the best for blending I do actually blend it out with the Sigma brush that looks like this I can't remember the name of it but it is a good brush to come with it I'm not gonna lie I haven't really used the bronzer uh, I think I've used a bronzer like twice but it is a really nice bronzer so if I was traveling I don't want to take all my makeup I would just take this who am I kidding I take all my makeup when I go everywhere but you know on days when I don't know I, I don't want to use something else I'd use it I don't know but I mainly do use the highlight and the contour from this and I really I'm so glad that I bought it I'm not gonna lie though I've seen a few people talking about the what's it called is it Too Faced they do like the stuff that smells like chocolate don't they like where did I disappear to my head's on um yeah I think it's Too Faced they have a cocoa contour kit obviously I want to try it but I don't need it and then with the Smashbox contour kit I used this little baby this is like the mini version of the Hula brush uh, that came in the Benefit Cocoa Glamour Gabbana cocoa? no there's no cocoa in that but I use this for contouring my nose like it's just perfect can you see that's my favourites rather rambly you can tell I am really passionate about all of the things in this video so let me know in the down bar what your favourite was out of my favourites and if you own any of them and if you bought any of them because of me. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next one. Bye!